This whole time, massive suffering. The Wall Street Journal reports that more people have returned to Ukraine than left the country in recent days. On Saturday, 37,000 people left Ukraine via crossings to the European Union and Moldova, and 46,000 entered the country. Crossings in and out of Poland, where the majority of those who fled Ukraine have gone, um, have been roughly even since mid-April. Let's bring in Dr. Alina Polyakova. She's the president and CEO for the Center for European Policy Analysis. She's also an adjunct professor of European studies at the the Johns Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies and an expert European security and Russian foreign policy. Um, so if I could first ask you the state of the refugee crisis, are, are more people going back in? Are there others that are leaving? How would you describe the refugee situation at this moment? Well, thanks, Mika. I'm actually uh, speaking to you right now from Poland. I'm in Warsaw right now, where I've been meeting with a lot of NGOs on the ground here that have been the first responders, really, to the millions and millions of Ukrainians that have been coming to Poland, as you said, as their first uh, country uh, that they're able to get to. What they told me on this issue is that it's not really clear because many Ukrainians are going back. You know, they went back for Easter, uh, Orthodox Easter was just recently. But we don't know how many are staying in Ukraine and how many are coming back to Poland. So the numbers tell a very unclear story right now, but certainly the situation is still quite dire um, here for refugees in terms of humanitarian assistance. Much, much more needs to be done uh, to make sure that the women, the children um, are able to actually live in Poland for the time that they're here. But I think one thing is very clear is that Ukrainians want to go home. They don't mm. want to be permanent refugees. They want to be home in Ukraine. Have the numbers of Ukrainians coming into Poland gone down? I, again, uh, it has, uh, certainly since uh, the beginning of the fighting on February 24th, where we saw absolutely staggering numbers just uh, multiplying day in, day out. Um, now the numbers have evened out, they've plateaued, and now we're seeing more of a back and forth movement rather than millions and millions flooding. Um, so the situation feels a bit more stable, but it's certainly not sustainable for the long term. Poland is hosting about 3 million Ukrainian refugees, again, majority women, children, uh, the elderly, um, and it's, it's a difficult environment for them, and it's not a lot of infrastructure in place here to really support them for the long term. No, many of them are in situations that are temporary, that it's dragging out for months, and this is a, a whole different phase of this war that needs to be handled by the world, uh, by the support of the world. Dr. Alina Polyakova, thank you so much for coming on. and. For